How to fulfill orders on CJ Dropshipping, Shopify Dropshipping Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to our CJ Dropshipping Tutorial in which I'll show you how you can fulfill your orders on CJ Dropshipping even if you have a Shopify store. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you need to do is you're going to go to cjdropshipping.com and you will land on this platform right here. We know that CJ Dropshipping is one of the biggest dropshipping platform with millions of products available uh, with cheap prices. It has China based suppliers. It's actually one of the most uh, kind of like useful and very efficient dropshipping platform that you can use and get suppliers. So now if you have a Shopify store and you have connected your CJ dropshipping to your Shopify, then you will be getting orders. How to fulfill an order using CJ dropshipping? So that's what we will cover in this video. If you don't know how to connect Shopify and CJ dropshipping, there is already a video on the channel. You can go ahead and check it out. So you will require an account on CJ dropshipping and then you can connect any kind of store. Here we can connect Shopify. We can even connect TikTok, eBay. Etsy, Wix, AliExpress and more. So let's say that I have connected Shopify and now I have orders. So in order to fulfill those orders, what we have to do is we have to go to our services. So after the initial sign up or sign in, you will get right here. Click on our services at the top right corner and then you will select order fulfillment. This is the second option. Within the order fulfillment, you will be able to see we have combined orders split orders, bundle SKU, a lot of options actually, custom packaging and branding, automatic order syncing, fulfillment and tracking information, manual order creation, wholesaling, global suppliers, optimized warehouse, and fast fulfillment. So now you can select any of the options from here and I'll show you the fast fulfillment first. So once you click on fast fulfillment, it will take you right here. Now you can see here we have orders available. Click on orders and this is where you will get the imported orders and orders fulfillment. So if you have a Shopify store, then you can import the Shopify orders to your CJ dropshipping. Or if you're getting the direct orders on CJ, then you can fulfill them. So I will click on orders fulfillment here and it will take you right here. So this is our orders dashboard here. Uh, in our orders dashboard, First of all, you will get all of your orders here. You have your order number, CJ order number, status, quantity, shipping method, tracking number, amount, and action. So this is where if I get some orders, they will be shown here. And at the top here, we have all, awaiting payments, pending, processing, dispatched, completed, and closed. So this is kind of like our main dashboard and analytics into our orders. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the order from here. Let me actually show you these steps. So you can see these steps right here. First, you have to add a new service product right here. Let me show you. So this is our product option. We saw this and then we have to submit the request. And then once you get your orders, first, you have to add a new service product. After that, you have to enter the product information. Now, this depends on the product that has been ordered. So you get your orders from here and to fulfill it, you will have to enter the product information. After entering the product information, you added the storage quantity and added to the storage cart to confirm. So where is the storage cart? You can see right here, once the order is added here, you select it and you will also add it to the storage cart. So right here, you can see the products and within your products, you have your list. So you need to actually, uh, you know, take that product off of the list because the customer has placed an order. Select a warehouse to store your products. So if you have the warehouse available here, so you will then select the warehouse. After selecting it, you download the inbound barcode. So with each order, there is inbound barcode. Let me actually show you. This is what it looks like. You can see this is an example for you for the uh, inbound barcode. So this means that your request has been successfully added and this product will have this barcode and it will be shipped from the warehouse with this information. So uh, once you do this, the next step is going to be the add the tracking number. 
Now, this is the tracking number that you add. If you don't have the tracking number, temporarily, you can enter the information uh, later. Uh, before your product arrives at uh, the warehouse, your order will be in the awaiting storage option. So this is about CJ dropshipping because we are completing the order with the help of a supplier. So you need to make sure that you are uh, doing the steps right in order to uh, get the product from the uh, warehouse. So this is how it's done. It's actually really easy to do. And you will be able to this way fulfill all the orders in no time. Uh, once you get a lot of orders here, we can actually go ahead and fulfill our orders through Shopify too. So it depends on the account that you have connected, the store that you have actually connected to your CJ dropshipping. Let's say I have connected eBay, I have connected Shopify. So within these platforms, there are also the order option. So if you're getting the orders on Shopify, then you can follow these steps for Shopify. So you will follow these steps on Shopify to fulfill your order. But if you are doing it completely on CJ, then you can do it from here. Or if you have integrated these platforms, then it will become more easy for you. So let me actually quickly also show you that how you can connect Shopify and CJ dropshipping for your dropshipping business. So I'm going to go to settings here in my Shopify admin. And what we will do is we'll scroll down to go to apps and sales channel here. Then I'm going to select Shopify app store. So here we have our Shopify app store. And I'm going to search for CJ dropshipping. And there you go. We have CJ dropshipping here free to install. This is the integration that you can add. So we'll click on install. So now we will click on install app again. Now it's asking me to authorize the account. So I'm going to quickly do that because we already have an account on CJ dropshipping and it will log into your account. And there you go. Now you have actually connected your CJ dropshipping to your Shopify. And this way you can not only list products from one platform to the other, you can not only get suppliers from CJ to your Shopify, but you will also be able to complete your orders. This is actually the integration that you need if you are planning to create a dropshipping platform or if you're planning to add products from CJ to Shopify, then you can just simply uh, connect these uh, platforms. You can connect CJ and uh, you can connect Shopify and fulfill your orders. Now, keep in mind the orders will be shown right here within your Shopify store and when it comes to CJ you'll go to our services order fulfillment and it will take you to your orders uh, and you will be able to fulfill them uh, with the steps that I showed you. So yeah guys this brings us to the end. I hope this video was value to you and now you know how to fulfill orders using CJ dropshipping and how you can do dropshipping with Shopify and CJ dropshipping. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.